So number 10, we have an equation, but it is not in standard form. So we need to put it in standard form and then we'll graph it. So standard form are these ones. And we just have x squared, y squared. And that means that our center is gonna be at the origin. So first let's get x squared and y squared together by adding the 275 on both sides. So I'm gonna bring it down here. We have 11y squared minus 25x squared equals 275. All right, so now on all of our equations, they equal one. So we need this to equal one. So we're gonna divide by 275. And what we do on one, we have to do to all. And now we'll simplify. So 11 over 275 is 1 over 25. So y squared over 25 minus, and we have 25 over 275. which is 11. So this is going to be x squared over 11 equals 275 over 275 is 1. Okay, so this is our standard form. Now we have to graph it. So our center is at 0, 0. And on our equation, we have y squared first. So that means that we're transverse along the y-axis and our a squared is under the y. So this is a squared and this is b squared. So when we graph our vertices, since we're on the y-axis, they're going to be on the y-spot. So if a squared is 25, a is plus or minus 5. So our vertices are going to be a positive 5 and negative 5. So if I go to graph that, I'm going to change my transverse on my y. I don't know what the focus is, but I know that the vertices are 5. So now I need to figure out where are my foci. So the foci are still on the y-axis, but they're the c values. So we're going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared to figure out what c is. a squared is 25, b squared is 11. If I add those together, I get 36. So my c values are plus or minus, oops, minus 36. So on my graph, down to six and that changes how steep those curve.